In this video, I want to show you how to import posts from a WordPress site into another WordPress site. I want to also show you how to import the featured image of these posts. As you see here, I have a website. It doesn't have any posts. It is completely empty. And this is the website. And this is, let's say, this is a target website. And if you go to posts, all posts, you see it has no post and it has no media absolutely. So I need to import posts from this website here along with their media into this one. To do this on the source website, go to the dashboard in WordPress and then hover over tools and then click on export. Here we need to export posts. So I'm going to select post, but you see there are many other things that you can export. And under posts, you have many selections that you can do. Here, I'm going to export only one category. It's called editing. So it will export all the posts that are categorized under editing. And I want to keep it for all authors. Start date, I don't want to export everything. So I'm going to select April 2020 only. Of course, you can import and export all the posts you want for whatever date you want. But here, for the sake of this video, to make it faster, I'm only selecting one month. And for the status, I'm going to keep it on all. You can, of course, choose schedule, draft, everything. Here, I'm going to export all the posts. And when you make your selection, simply click on download export file. And here, as you see, it downloaded the export file. Now we need to import this file into the target site. Before starting the import, it is very important that you back up the target site. If you don't know how to back up the target site, look in the description. I have two methods to back it up, either using Updraft Plus or using cPanel. So to start the import, go to the target site. Also, on the target site, you need to be in the dashboard of WordPress and then hover over Tools and then click on Import. And if this is the first time that you are importing posts or something else from another website, under WordPress here, you'll have the option to install the small plugin from WordPress automatically. Otherwise, the install now will become run importer. So I'm going to click install now. And this is only once. It will install the plugin and it will activate it automatically. And you see now we have run importer. So click on run importer. And let's select the file that we exported. So click on choose file. And then go to the downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded the exported file. Select the file that you exported from the source site. And then click on open. And then click on upload file and import. Make sure here to select download and import file attachments. And here it will ask you, do you want to assign the post to another author or do you want to keep the original author? I'm going to assign them to the admin author here. This is the only user I have on this site. So I selected it here and then click on submit and wait for the import to finish. And now the import has finished. Let's check on the posts what we have. And you see it imported the posts from the website. I only had one post in April 2020. So let's check it now on the website. Let me refresh it. And you see the post is imported here, but it doesn't have its feature image. To rectify this and to import the featured image, you need to import the media from the source site to the target site. So let's go to the source site once again, and then always under tools, this time click on media and we know that we imported the posts from April 2020. So we need to export the media from April 2020 to April 2020. Of course, if you are using other dates, feel free to choose the dates you want and then click on download export file. And once the file is downloaded, go to the target website and now also hover over tools and then click on import. Click on Run Importer, 
choose a file that we exported for the media. This is the latest one. Choose it and then click on open. And then click on upload file and import. And here also make the same selections we made before. And then click on submit. Wait for the media to be imported. It might take a while if you have large amount of media. And now the media is imported. So let's check the website, the target website. So we're expecting here that the featured image should appear. Let me refresh it. And here's a featured image appeared on the target website. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.